light magic to grow. Ew. All right, so this is from a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of December 2019. This is going to be your love reading. Actually, I kind of like have been getting away from saying love reading just because of the fact that I don't know what's going to come out. But um, let's go ahead and like kind of jump into it. Just want to let you guys know if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notification um when a new video comes up other than that you wonderful beauties can just check me out on instagram i'm on ig under light magic tarot and i'm gonna get a sense for your energy for december okay so a few disclaimers all right, time is relative, so this is relevant when you see it. If it does not resonate with your sun sign, check out your moon sign, check out your rising sign, check out your Venus sign, okay? There will be something in one of those videos that resonates with you, I attest to that. Although there may be 7.5 billion people in the world, somebody led you to my channel some way, some shape, or somehow. With that being the case, let's get the party started. I'm trying to check out the energy. Spirit. What is the energy for my wonderful Capricorns? You see that pop out? Capricorns for the month of December 2019. What's the most important message? Um, I just want to let you guys know that like energies are not feminine or masculine. So whoever you're thinking about, whoever is on your mind and comes to mind, if it's not your behavior, it may be their behavior in this situation. But energies can be exchanged, just to let you know. You guys got the action card. I see. Uh, Spirit is asking you to have patience, and then you guys will be dealing with love this week. Spirit, what is the energy for my Capricorns? All right, so you guys are do, 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 dealing with family issues, but it's some good stuff. So you guys are going to be having fun. But I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. December, that's like the holiday time period. You just came off of Thanksgiving. Now you're getting ready to go into all the Christmas parties at work, hanging out with friends and hanging out with family. If you celebrate like Christmas, New Year's, or any of the other um, holidays, may it be like um Hanukkah or even freaking Kwanzaa okay so it makes sense all right you guys got the garden and the gate okay so what this is representative of this is representative of you like taking risk and stepping out of your um your familiar territory your familiar environment okay um taking a risk you guys will also be embodying some king of swords energy so a lot of logic will be used within the, within this time frame uh, and then oh you know what one of the um when i was channeling for capricorns it said fun in the sun this family definitely looks like they're having fun and they're on a beach or something so maybe some of you guys are taking vacations who knows who knows but let's see. Okay, so what I want to do, I desire to, I'm gonna clarify these cards, and then after I clarify these two cards, then I'm gonna get into like the actual spread. Spirit, please put the energy from the spirit. Um, I sell my selenite crystal, it is good for cleansing everything, everything, y'all. You guys need to look it up. Selenite is good for um, reducing pain. Um, it's good for getting rid of headaches. It's also good for cleaning the energy off of anything. Your, your jewelry, your tarot deck. Um, as far as like a house or something like that, I would probably just use a little bit of crusty Florida water. <laughs> a little Florida water. Just to clean clean it up clean it up um you can also use a sunlight crystal to like anoint yourself to cleanse any of your chakras spirit please clarify the garden at the gate what is this referring to okay the five of swords wants to pop up so this is something that you're very fearful of let's see 
Okay, you got anxiety about pursuing spiritual. Okay, this could be taken two ways, okay? So anxiety about spiritual pursuits, okay? Going a little deeper, knowing that there's something on the other side, but just a little fearful of it, okay? And being anxious about it and stand up. This could also be you being fearful in regards to taking the next step up in a relationship, uh, especially if somebody proposed to you or somebody um, has asked you to take it to the next level. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that brief interruption. Okay, so where I picked, off at, picked up off at, um, you guys are going to be nervous or anxious or the other person's going to be nervous and anxious about um, approaching you regarding taking the next step up. Maybe it's be like somebody proposing, somebody saying, hey, maybe we should make it official. Or somebody saying, I want to cuff you. All right. Spirit, can you please clarify the thinking man? Mm. The star card wanted to pop out. But instead, ooh. Okay, we got the king of coins. Somebody saving some money. Saving some money up. Take a ball out. Hey. <laughs> okay, last card I want to clarify. Okay. So, please do not be fearful. You're going to get a lot of communication regarding whatever family ordeal you guys kind of... It feels like a vacation is coming up. A vacation or maybe a family party or something. Okay, Capricorns, I know y'all don't like to go out like that. Go out because for some reason, you're going to have wish fulfillment at this party or whatever event this is regarding fun and son and family. Fun, son, getting out in nature, whatever it is, or something that you don't normally do, go ahead and do it. Indulge because once you decide to go ahead and jump in full force, you're going to end up getting some type of wish fulfillment out of it, okay? All right. I also seen the wonderful four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yes, yes, yes. Building a stability, darling. And that's also the twin flame card, even though people are like, nah, I don't ever want to say that. Good. Hopefully. Okay. I have like so many hiccups when it comes down to the uh, twin flame. If you are on your twin flame journey, woo, that motherfucker there. <laughs> Man, I hope you don't have to experience anything like that this lifetime. But if you are, kudos to you. My heart is with you. I am praying for you. That twin flame journey is a bitch. Okay? Like, there's no other way that we can put this. Spirit, please clarify. Spirit, please clarify. Can you read that? Source, spirit, archangels, ancestors, spirit guys. Yeah, the divine light to me with Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, best interest in hand. What are the most important and heavenly messages that you want to give my wonderful Capricorns? Ooh, somebody coming through with a romantic gesture for December 2019. Some, some really love, lovey dovey vibes. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful guys. I see the, um, the king of cups goodness the knight of cups okay also a little bit of indecision about what to do get a crossroad it's a very important decision that you're gonna make okay okay so story spirit archangel dancing sister guys what is the current situation Ooh. Ooh. the current situation that most of my capricorns will be dealing with for december 2019 Okay, so at least two things. Three of Cups, celebration, celebration, Six of Earth, finding balance. Okay, so this feels like going inward and still partying. So you're going to have a nice little balance. You're going to kick it hard, kick it, kick it really hard, but you're still going to be able to find a balance. And the wonderful thing is that the Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're gonna hang, you'll be hanging out with some soulmates. you probably meet a romantic soulmate. Who knows? But this energy feels bubbly and it feels good. Okay. I'm going to take these separately. What is crossing the two of waters? Okay. All right. The um, 
the Knight of Cups is crossing into water. So you got somebody coming in with whoever is coming in. They are coming in as a familiar spirit. So this is somebody that you probably knew in the past or somebody that you had a previous interaction with. Um, it could be during this lifetime. It literally could be during the last lifetime if you believe in things like that. But this is somebody that's going to feel very warm, very comfortable, um, like you've known them forever. And it's just going to be very fluid. It's going to go with the flow. Okay, in regards to, maybe I should just go ahead and finish this pal and then I'll hop over to this one, okay? Okay, at the bottom deck, you still got the two of cups. Spirit, what is in the most recent past for my cappies? Most recent past. Okay, you guys have been block, block, blocking. Okay, so this feels like whoever this person is that's coming in, you might have unblocked them. But you had their asses blocked, okay? They were blocked. You were not messing with them. Seven of fire, seven of wands. What else is going on? Okay, and this is definitely somebody that you had a past relationship with because you got the Six of Cups, okay? So this is a reconciliation of some sort and this reconciliation is going to be very fun. This is somebody from the past. You unblocked them maybe emotionally or even physically. Maybe you unblocked them on Facebook, Instagram, any of the social media platforms or something, but you will be standing in your power. You'll be representing and standing boldly and confidently with this Queen of Wands energy. Ooh, ain't she cute? She's cute. Mm -hmm. She's very confident, darling. Yes, okay. So, spirit, the stuff is just like popping out. <laughs> Best case scenario for this situation is the Ace of Earth, which is the Ace of Coins. This is a new beginning, guys. Okay, so spirit is delivering to you wonderful individuals that decide to unblock the person from beforehand a new beginning with this person. Okay? It's the best possible outcome. All right. Now, in regards to you finding balance, uh, what's crossing what's crossing you finding balance um, physically, this is balance between work, play, and everything else that you do. Exercise, whatever cases. This is just balance in your life in general. And then you're moving forward with this. So you're going to find different, different ways to find balance in your life. Okay? You know, figure out a different way how to schedule your time. Whatever it is, it's going to be something that's going to be like a perk or add-on to help you further balance your uh, your life, okay? In the distant past, in the distant past, you guys, okay, you guys are moving out of like kind of fucked up energy. So whatever energy you're leaving, you're moving on to calmer waters, okay? This is a six of swords. Ooh, and you're doing it boldly, but with like a very, um, what's the word? Like your inner child. So you're doing it boldly, you're doing it passionately, and you're just allowing yourself to feel as you move forward into exploring more things that you would normally um, explore. So this is definitely earth energy, but it's being crossed by the chariot. And the chariot feels warm, so it feels like it's spirit-led energy. Spirit, please give me the best possible outcome for my Capricorns that are trying to find balance. What's the best possible outcome for my Cappy? Okay. Two cards came out. My Cappy's trying to find balance. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm super excited because you got the hangman, which is just a brief pause, okay? This is a brief pause, and this is also a change in um, perception and perspection. Perspection. Perception, duh. Sorry. Perception. It's a change in perception, but this is like an epiphany. This is a light bulb moment, but it's coupled with the Ace of Cups. So we got some self-love coming in, but this self-love that's coming in is divinely inspired. It's self-love given to you by the universe. It's... um. It could also be a new love coming in. Like, don't get it twisted. But for the most part, with the hangman, this means that you're going to be, like, shutting everybody, all the outside energy down. And maybe that's what you need to do. You need to find yourself and go inward. 
just so that you can balance work, just so you can balance play, so you can balance all the things that's necessary within your life at this time, at this time, um, at this time, okay? During December, this is a wonderful way to smoothly transition into the new year, into 2020, full of self-love, clarity, balance between work, home, play. I mean, you really couldn't ask for a better spread on one spread, you lend somebody else back in and you guys are going to have a beautiful new beginning. On the other spread, you're developing your own self-love. And then you got some type of trip or some type of family event coming up that's going to end up giving you some type of wish that you asked for. So I can't see December coming off any better, guys. This is a wonderful way to transition into 2020. All right, guys. This has been your reading for the beginning of December 2019. Um, if you like this, uh, if you like this video, go ahead, click the thumbs up. If you want a personal reading, information is down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos, subscribe, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram too, under Light Magic M A G I C K with a K to row. Other than that, bye for now. Mwah.